Hey everybody, um, my name is Sive. I'm a youth worker from Wicklow um, and I took part in the Myanmar internship with TAFL in January 2020. The reason that I chose Myanmar is because it seemed like a country that not many people had been to. I love a good adventure and something about the fact that it was just somewhere a little bit different um, made me really curious and made me want to try it out for myself. The reason why I wanted to do TAFL teaching uh, was because I've always enjoyed working with young people. I've always enjoyed kind of helping others and teaching others. And I wanted to learn some more skills that would help me in that kind of line of work, um, work, you know, youth work and working with young people. I did my 180 hour TEFL certificate um, and I had plenty of time to do that. I think I started doing it while I was still in my final year of college, it, which would have been in 2019. And then when I graduated in November 2019, I kind of finished up the cert. So it was at that point then that I applied for the Myanmar internship. TEFL were really great in supporting me with that application. And they also found me a job pretty quickly. I think I only waited about three weeks between the time of applying and when I got an offer of a job. Those first few days was orientation week. So uh, that was spent with other teachers who were living in the same apartment as me um, and they were from all over the world. So there were people, I was the only Irish uh, person there, uh, but there were people from England, um, Austria, Australia, Italy, Israel and South Africa. Um, and we all bonded really quickly. Um, orientation week gave us a great chance to do that, but also just kind of living together in the fairly cosy apartment um, was the perfect kind of way to, to get to know each other really well. So the orientation week, um, what we did was basically um, Burmese lessons. Um, we did like a tour of the city. They showed us how to use public transport. They helped us open bank accounts, which obviously can be really challenging um, to do in a different country um, without support. So that was great. Um, we also uh, did some Burmese cooking lessons um, and we also got a little bit of teaching practice as well. Once orientation week was over, uh, it was time to start teaching. So I worked at a uh, international preschool, um, which was in the center of Yangon. It took me about 20 minutes to drive there um, each day. Taxis are really, really cheap, so I got quite a lot of taxis. Sometimes I walked. It was about like a 45 minute to maybe a little bit longer walk. Um, so sometimes I would walk home, but mostly in the morning, I did get a taxi there. But you could also get the train. I was just being a bit lazy. Um, so um, my teaching hours, I'm trying to think back. My teaching hours were from really early in the morning. I had to be there at, I think, 7.30 a.m. But the plus side of that was that I did finish around three o'clock and I had the afternoon to myself. Um, and yeah, I was in a preschool, so I was teaching really young kids. I think my youngest were like my nursery class. They were like two years old. And then I went up to first grade. Um, they were about seven. So we went to the beach one weekend, um, which was so nice just to relax. We went to Began, which is this amazing, amazing um, temples uh, where you can go around on an e-bike and explore all the temples. Um, a little bit like Angkor Wat in Cambodia, but a lot less well known. So you can like sometimes find that you have the place to yourself. And the other teachers that I lived with, they... Um, you know, had, they were all really into traveling around as well. So like we would organize it and then a group of us will go off um, and travel. And like, you know, through that experience, I made such amazing friends and I still keep in touch with them. Um, you know, I, I don't want to focus on COVID, but when we all did have to leave because of COVID, like the saddest thing was leaving behind my students and also the friends that I made because um, we made so many amazing memories in the short time that we were together and we all kind of spent our weekends together, like we celebrated birthdays, we went on trips, um, two of us got our nose pierced together, it was great. I'm trying to, like there's, I could talk forever about my experience there, it's it's one of the best things I've done um, and I hope that um, you guys go for it and have a super time over there and give Yangon my love. Thank you.